Hi there, welcome to this video. This is a video to show how to sort out your Slimline dishwasher that probably has a flow through heater in it that is um, not functioning correctly. Uh, symptoms of this is that you will get your dishes coming out reasonably clean but not totally clean. Uh, Anything with grease on will come out very greasy. Uh, when you touch the side or the front of your dishwasher, you'll see that there's no heat coming uh, emitting from it. So that probably means there's a problem with your heating system. For this fix, you need to be having access to the base of the dishwasher because that's where everything is going on that we need for this fix. Obviously, have towels uh, available ready. There will be water left in the system even when you've unplugged uh, and um, taken off your waste and your inlet pipe from the wall um, so I've just got a little towel here that I use just to keep on top of everything it shouldn't be too much obviously make sure you turn off all the taps and water to the dishwasher before you uh, unplug it and also unplug it from the electricity before you start any work that goes without saying and if you keep it plugged in and do this work you're an idiot and so here we are there's some just some basic tools that you need for this um, nothing too special, uh, as you'll see as we go through the fix. So we unscrew the base, and then also you'll probably have to take off the feet. There we go, we'll just pop those there, and this should just slot off. And then if you come in closer, you'll see that there is the overflow or flooding switch, so that engages if you have a problem during the running of the dishwasher. So it's probably best to also unscrew that from the bottom. So here we have the base, we're looking into the base of the dishwasher. Um, as you can see all the different gubbins here, uh, the motor, uh, the pump, I think this is the drain pump as you can see where it's going out for the exit pipe. Um, and this is part of the drain pump system and I found that if you remove this you get a better access there to there's the flow through heater at the back. So that's the flow through heater, that's what we need to get to. That just moves away. So you see that there will be clips at the bottom on the on the hose there and on the hose there. They're not Jubilee clips, they don't come as Jubilee clips. And they are, I've removed them already prior to this. They are these type of clips. Um, so you just need to lever them off there. And then I recommend then, which I'll show you later, is buying some Jubilee clips. They're just easier to help reinstall it. So, very worthwhile taking pictures of everything the way it's connected all the cabling you've got the earth going to the top so as i'm looking at this the earth is connected at the top of the flow through heater and then just take a picture or remember or take note of how these clips the plugs go in rather just ease the hose off we've got the earth off we're pulling it out remove the Earth clip, and then the other one of those, gently take it out. And there you will see there's your flow through heater off. Okay, so we've got the old part out, which is there. So we're going to just test it. Always good to test it before you spend money on a new one. So we get the multi-tester out, and then we get it set to the lowest ohms for resistance setting. We then get ourselves up to zero. There's no reading there, as you can see. No reading at all. If we then test here, this bit, part of it, there is coming through that bit. So that bit's obviously connected, but uh, this bit isn't. Now I've got out the flow through heater there and tested it. I know that's kind of gone and it's probably the fix, but also while I'm here, part of the system is also this pressure, this heating switch that goes into, as you can see there, into that hose. Uh, which I found online for about 12 quid, so I thought I'll just get one of those as well. And then if you also come around here, you'll see going into the bottom of the dishwasher is the little sort of thermistor type thing that connects into the heating system as well there. And then again, that was £12, so I thought I'll remove that. Let's change every part of it, um, and I'll just show you those parts once I get them out. The malfunctioning flow-through heater the temperature sensor and the heating system pressure switch. 
So now here are the, the bits I bought. So these are all, this is aftermarket. Uh, I don't think this is an original part, but it was half the price. Um, obviously probably won't last as long, but you know, this one lasted three years. I'd hope to get a couple of years out of this if, if possible. There's a temperature sensor. And then when you get the pressure switch, you get the whole hose fitting. I'm just going to remove this and put in a new Jubilee clip uh, in the one the hose that's already there because that hose is good and just keep that hose and this pressure switch probably because I don't think these are malfunctioning at all I'll just keep those in case these go down ever again and there you go part one there's the pressure switch new one in um, with the new Jubilee clip probably best to change that whole unit there but they didn't seem to send me a separate clip um, with the other, with the new bit of uh, kit. So I've just put a Jubilee clip on that and plumbed it in that way. The new sensor. And there we go. Into the base of the dishwasher. And this is the point where you need the little spanner because these little screws that hold that in, it has to be held in tight, otherwise you will get some serious leakage going on. So you see it's in, now that, that is a very panicky job, it's probably the biggest job of all for such a small part. So you might fancy taking off like a lot of other proper domestic appliance technicians will take off the pump here. Um, so they could get to that easily as well, and everything else really, but I'm, the, I'm just a bit lazy to be honest. There is the flow through heater connected back up. I've taken pictures, so there's me plugs in the right way around my earth, and it's going to slot in there like that. Now we reattach this bit, making sure we don't snag up any other cables. There we go, all nicely fitted. There we are, back in, all as was. We have the new pressure switch right at the back there. We have the new temperature sensor in there. And we have the new flow through heater here. All probably connected. Now all we need to do is reconnect everything else. So we're putting this back in there. The boy float, whatever you wish to call it. Make sure you've got this the right way around so it will then go back into that cavity there. And then back on your four screws. Don't forget your legs. Okay, now we're back up and running. Correct way round. Now all you need to do is reconnect your waste pipe, your inlet pipe to your water supply, and then give it a test. <laughs> 